Yeah, it's interesting. I think it's it's our job as actors to love and advocate for our characters, but we have no responsibility that an audience like the character. Mm -hmm. uh, so advocate for and love the character, but don't try to be liked. Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking to Tim Blake Nelson, Andrew Liner, and Vincent Grishaw of Bang Bang, which is premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival on June 11, 2024. I'm going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. So, thanks so much for joining me. Today I've got Tim Blake Nelson, Andrew Liner, and Vincent Grishaw of Bang Bang, which is premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival on June 11, 2024. It is a intense, emotional boxing journey that is an absolute knockout. I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic film. I really enjoyed it. So I'm very excited to talk to you, and thanks so much for joining me. Our sure. pleasure. Awesome. All right. So first question. This feels like it should have debuted in Detroit. Was that not an option? Was this the first festival that you could get it out to? Because uh, this is such a like Detroit love story that I, I felt like this was a, a, an interesting movie to premiere in, in New York. But I guess it kind of still works. It's still kind of an urban environment. Yeah, I, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it definitely uh, has a vibe. I don't know if Detroit has a film festival, to be honest, but there's only a select amount of um, festivals that you, at least the top tier ones you want to aim for to premiere a film. And yeah, Tribeca, is, we're grateful that they're having us there. Yeah, for sure. No, it was a, it, it's an awesome film. I'm excited that people are going to be able to see it. Um, Vincent, how did you get involved in this movie? How did you kind of like get this script and get like on the, as, as a director? I was given the script from uh, one of our producers, a longtime friend of mine, uh, Jesse Ozeri. Um, <clears throat> he is one of those guys, I, I you know, very taste maker. Like he he has a, a high taste for for material. I, I respect that about him. So I was looking for stuff, and he sent me this, and it was right up my alley. Uh, uh, the script is just speaks for itself. So. I uh, fell in love with that, and uh, oddly, it, it, things moved very quickly. I took it to my producers at Random Mix, who investor, and uh, we had a, a film that we had done previously together, and they were looking to do another one, so uh, they loved it as well, and kind of off to the races from there. That's awesome. And uh, Tim, how did you get involved in this picture? Did you sign on early on? Were you like one of the first people to sign on? I believe I was the first actor to to sign on, and uh, they offered me the role. I had a little bit of, I'd had some interaction with Vince, uh, who'd asked me to do another one of his movies. And I loved how he conducted himself in that process, even though I didn't end up doing the film. Uh, and I'm incredibly grateful that he came back to me with this, which felt like, um, a challenge I wanted to take on so long as I could be assured, um, that I'd be guided well. Uh, and so it took a meeting with Vince and also Vince's producers, because when I, when I do a smaller film that's, that's so execution dependent in terms of the directing, I wanna make sure that the director is gonna be supported by the people around him. Because often you'll get into situations in which the director is at odds with his production team and and I always side with the director um, in, in that because the director is the person who really makes the movie. Mm -hmm. The rest of us are, are on board to participate in his or her vision. Uh, and I certainly got the impression that, that Vince was going to be supported by his team. But more importantly, any misgivings I had about my suitability for the role were mitigated by... Vince's confidence that I could play the role and that he could guide me where I might go astray or um, have certain insufficiencies and, and, and try to make up for those. And, and so uh, I went into a, I decided to join on and I went into an intensive training process and um, uh, I'm really glad I did this film and, and uh, um Vince is an extraordinary director, and and uh, I think this is going to be one of uh, of probably a dozen 
really intriguing films he'll make over a rich lifetime. Yeah, for sure. And I love how you, you know, trusted Vince because this is a very interesting role. Like as I was watching this, like your character is is very unlikable, but you you want to root for him, you want to love him. It's like it could have gone a couple ways. Your character is really gruff, he's really kind of aggressive, but throughout this journey like you 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 love bang you want him to like succeed you want him to do well and despite everything that happens you know throughout the film you are you are rooting for him so i think that makes sense that you would trust the director to like make sure that that vision came through and like guide you on that journey yeah it's interesting i think it's it's our job as actors to love and advocate for our characters but we have no responsibility that an audience like the character mm -hmm. uh so advocate for and love the character, but don't try to be liked. Uh, as, unless that's the MO of the character, and that's a different story. Uh, and that certainly wasn't the case with this. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and Andrew, how did you get involved in this movie as well? Like, when did you sign on? And, and did you did you and Tim like work together to make sure you had that chemistry before you, you signed on? I, uh, I got an audition for it, and uh, I sent it in. And um, then I got a call back and then I got a Ken read with Tim and um, and it went and it went great. Um, and I kind of after reading the script, I mean, it's it's hard not to like obsess over something like this. And also me being mixed and I boxed growing up, it kind of like felt pretty perfect for me. Um, and yeah, so so uh, after after I booked the part, I think we had that callback, um, that chemistry read. And, and then, um, we all met in Kentucky the next month and, um, kind of just, you know, I, tr I trusted Tim and Tim trusted me and we all trusted Vince and Vince is a very specific person. So, um, we would almost over communicate, uh, which is, which is important. Uh, I, I'd often see Tim and Vince talk about the, the, the direction of the scene or, or, or or where the character is headed. And I think that that was an important thing as well um, to have just everyone be on the same page and passionately want to make this thing. Um, but yeah, like I, we didn't have like many much rehearsal time just sitting with the two of us um, before we started shooting. Yeah, for sure. And I love that you boxed growing up. I was wondering if any of you had boxed because, and, and you only had a month to get in shape, which I, I, is impressive, right? Like you had a month to like cut, get in the fighting weight for your character, which is, it is pretty impressive. Yeah. I think uh, a, a common misconception with a lot of actors is like, they have to get in shape for a project. I, I think it's kind of, you should always be in shape. And then depending on the part, you, you know, you, you, you can, mend and bold and and mold yourself into whatever it is like it's way it takes way longer to get in shape than it does to um cut weight or gain weight and mm -hmm. i think that it, and it's it's just way harder to get like jacked and um i think like kind of always staying in fighting shape is 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 important for me as an actor and what i kind of want to do because i think after looking at Tim and, and, and how he threw himself in physically and also with all the projects he's done and how he physically molds himself, it's like an inspiring thing. And, and, and uh, what all actors dream of being a chameleon like that physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, for to be sure. clear, I had a lot more than a month. <laughs> well, that, that makes sense. I mean, you, you had to like, you know, credit really... Andrew with the month. don't give me any credit for that. I was going to say like to be young again and be able to like always be in shape and then just kind of like mold up or down depending on the, on the role. Sounds fantastic. Um, I know we have limited time. Last question. Uh, you know, this, this movie is about bang, bang. He is, that's his boxing nickname. If you all had boxing nicknames and Andrew, maybe you already do, what would it be? What, what would your boxing nickname be? And we'll start with Andrew. Oh, um, man, I don't, I don't know. I, I'd, uh, I'd hope it'd be something of the sort of like a technician. Um, yeah. The maybe. technician. The, the technician. technician. Yeah, that works. That works well. Sure. Nice. <laughs> uh, mine would be railroad. All right. I like that. <laughs> Just come in like a freight train, essentially. Yeah. Well, my grandfather, who was a Golden Globes fighter, he always talked about working on the railroads in World War II, and he was a sergeant in a railroad battalion, and uh, that wasn't his nickname or anything, but he always talked about it. 
And so I was like, man, that's a badass. That would be a badass boxing alias. So that would be mine. That's great. Tim, do you, do you have one or do you like Bang Bang? I mean, it's, it's a pretty good nickname. It, it kind of fits, but... Gotta uh... go with Bang Bang. You gotta do that. Hey, yeah, I'll go with Bang Bang. Uh, and um, and then uh, in, in, the, in the wider uh, universe, I'll steal from Ashton Barrett, the member of the Whalers, and, and, it, and use Family Man. <laughs> All right. I like it. Fighting for your family is perfect. <laughs> what would yours be, uh, David? Oh, gosh. Mine... Is the uh, the critic? I guess is more of like a wrestling nickname. That wouldn't be a good one. Um, Just be Spark, Stark. Spark, Spark. That works. Spark. Yeah, Spark. I like it. Or or the must or the stash. Maybe the stash could work. Stash. But, yeah, you're not yeah. gonna knock that thing. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right, we've got we've got it all. So uh, you can check out these amazing performances and this like emotional and intriguing film, Bang Bang. It's premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival on June 11, 2024. This is Tim Blake Nelson, Andrew Liner, and Vincent Greshaw. Thank you so much for your time. I loved it. Thank you so much. That was Tim Blake Nelson, Andrew Liner, and Vincent Greshaw talking about Bang Bang, which is premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival on June 11, 2024. It is a poignant, emotional, and at times frustrating boxing movie that is just a knockout. It is a fantastic film. I absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed both Tim Blake Nelson and Andrew Liner's performance in it. If you like this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.